The wreath presented by the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China to the great leader, Chairman Mao. Reads from party and state leaders. Hua Guofeng. Ye Jianying. Song Qingling. Wei Guoqing. Liu Guocheng. Xi Shi Yu. Ji Deng Kui. Wu De. Wang Dongxing. Chen Yong Kui. Chen Xi Lian. Li Xian Yan. Li De Sheng. Wu Gui Xian. Su Zhen Hua. Ni Zhi Fu. Sai Fu Din. On the left side of the hall, reads from Guo Mo Ro, Nie Rong Zhen, Tan Zhen Lin, Zhang Ding Cheng, Wu Lan Fu, Zhou Jian Ren, Hu Jue Wen, Yao Lin Wei, Wang Zhen, Gu Mu, and Pebala Galie Namjie, Vice Chairman of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, CPPCC. On the right side, reads from Xu Xiangqian, Chen Yun, Li Jingquan, Cai Chang, Gaofeng Gaowang Jigmei, Xi De Heng, Li Su Wen, Yu Chu Li, Sun Jian, and Shen Yan Bing, Vice Chairman of the National Committee of the CPPCC. Reads from the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, the State Council, the Military Commission of the Party Central Committee, the National Committee of the CPPCC. Departments under the Party Central Committee and the State Council. The People's Liberation Army's Department, National Defense Science and Technology Commission, various services and branches, military academies and military region commands. Mass organizations. The Party Committees and Revolutionary Committees of 29 provinces, municipalities and autonomous regions. Compatriots from Taiwan province. Reads from places where Chairman Mao carried on his great revolutionary activities and from the Da Qing Oil Field Party Committee and the Da Jai Production Brigade Party Branch. Veterans of the Red Army and the Eighth Root Army, and veterans of the People's Liberation War, who fought valiantly under Chairman Mao.
revolutionary fighters who stood in the van of the great proletarian cultural revolution and representatives of the workers, peasants and soldiers and people from other walks of life. All are plunged into the deepest grief. Oh, Chairman Mao, you are the great liberator of the people of all nationalities in our country. Your love for us is deeper than the seas. Words cannot describe what you have done for us. It will be remembered for countless generations to come. President Kim Il-sung, the great leader of the Korean people, sent a wreath to Peking by special plane under the escort of Vice Foreign Minister Chon yong su The wreath from President Kim Il-sung, composed of flowers from Korea in full bloom, expresses the profound feeling of our fraternal neighbor for Chairman Mao. Vice Foreign Minister Chon myung Su and Ambassador Hyun jun Kyuk express deep condolences over the death of Comrade Mao Zedong. The wreath sent by Comrade Enver Hoxha the great leader of the Albanian people. Albanian ambassador Behar Stila. The wreath from comrade Nicola Ceausescu, general secretary of the Romanian Communist Party and president of the Socialist Republic of Romania. Romanian Ambassador Nicolae Gavrilescu. Democratic Kampuchea's Ambassador Pic Chiang. A wreath from the Central Committee of the Vietnam Workers' Party, the Standing Committee of the National Assembly and the Government Council of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam was brought to Peking by a special Vietnamese plane. The wreath was made in Ho Chi Minh City. Vietnamese Ambassador Nguyen Phuong Vinh and Sitan Chi Bun Hyang, Chargé d'Affaires ad interim of the Embassy of Laos. From Afghanistan. Bangladesh. Burma. the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, India, Iran, 
Iraq, Japan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mongolia, Nepal, Pakistan, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, Syria, Thailand, Turkey, the Yemen Arab Republic, Algeria, Benin, Burundi, Cameroon, Chad, the Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, Guinea, Madagascar, Mali, Mauritania, Mauritius, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria, Rwanda, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Somalia, the Sudan, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia, Uganda, Upper Volta, Zaire, Zambia, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Denmark, Finland, France, the German Democratic Republic, the Federal Republic of Germany, the Hellenic Republic, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, USSR, United Kingdom, Yugoslavia, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Cuba, Guyana, Mexico, Peru, Venezuela, Australia, and New Zealand. Officials of the mission of the Palestine Liberation Organization in Peking and the liaison office of the United States of America to China also come to pay their respects.
delegation of the Women's Association of Democratic Kampuchea, led by Lung Se. Jawoto, Secretary General of the Afro-Asian Journalists Association. Also attending the morning ceremony are the visiting Albanian Metallurgical Working Group, led by Vice Minister of Industry and Mines, Marco Bletta, Pakistan Foreign Secretary, Agar Shahi, the delegation from the Venezuelan National Cultural Council, the delegation of the France-China Cultural Center of Marseille, former U.S. Secretary of Defense, James R. Schlesinger, and friends from sports circles in Japan, Tanzania, and Egypt. Foreign experts who have for many years lived and worked with the Chinese people and foreign students and trainees in Peking come to pay their last respects to Chairman Mao with profound proletarian feelings. They said that Chairman Mao was not only the great leader of the Chinese people but the great teacher of the revolutionary people of the entire world. Like the sun, Mao Zedong thought will forever like the road of advance of the Chinese people, as well as the proletariat and the oppressed and exploited people throughout the world. Chairman Mao will live forever in the hearts of the revolutionary people of all countries. On September 17th, Deputy Prime Minister Yang Sari of the Government of Democratic Kampuchea and his party, stopping in Peking on their way home, come straight to attend the morning ceremony. Flowing, oh tears, do not blur my eyes. Let me look my fill at that kindly face. Time, don't move so fast. Let me stay longer by his side. I want to imprint his image on my heart. We look back at every step. At every step, we shed fresh tears. Oh, Chairman Mao, Chairman Mao, we cannot bear to part from you. We shall always be at your side, forever acting on your commands. O oh, Chairman Mao, I come to express the deep sorrow of the workers of the Daqing oil field. We'll hold still higher the red banner of Daqing which you raised aloft. O oh, Chairman Mao, you will always live in the hearts of the poor and low middle peasants of the Dajai Brigade. The red sun will forever illuminate Dajai's road of advance. O oh, Chairman Mao, we fighters of the 8th Company on Shanghai's Nanking Road will never cease our struggle against the bourgeoisie. We shall always be a pillar of the proletarian dictatorship. Chairman Mao, we workers who took part in the great February 7th strike of 1923 cherish your memory. Half a century ago, you came among us and kindled the flame in the hearts of us impoverished workers.
Old Chairman Mao, we guards and medical personnel who work beside you are at your side again. Your teachings will always echo in our ears. Your kindness will always warm our hearts. We will never forget our days of happiness with you. <laughs> oh, Chairman Mao, hear the pledge of the Red Guards of the Determined to Remain Peasants team. We Red Guards, most responsive to your call, are making the vast countryside our home. We are determined to settle down as peasants and will not waver. The earth is sobbing, the skies are weeping. We have come from all sides to mourn our esteemed and beloved leader with the deepest pain. The rain falls fast. Our tears fall faster. No rivers can hold our tears. No words can describe our sorrow. The night deepens. Heavy are our hearts as we file into the morning hall. O oh, Chairman Mao, Chairman Mao, giving all your mind, all your heart, you spent yourself for us. From dawn to dusk, from night to day, in an endless stream, we come to see him whom we most love. Our esteemed and beloved great leader, Chairman Mao, the workers in the capital who have fought by your side, solemnly vow, we are determined to turn grief into strength, carry out your behests, conscientiously study Marxism, Leninism, Mao Zedong thought, persist in taking class struggle as the key link, 
keep to the party's basic line, act in accordance with the Anshan Charter, carry forward the movement in industry, learn from Da Qing, grasp revolution and promote production, and carry through to the end the cause of the proletarian revolution which you pioneered in China. Our esteemed and beloved great leader, Chairman Mao, the poor and lower middle peasants of Peking who have fought by your side, make the solemn pledge. We will turn grief into strength, carry out your behests, study Mao Zedong thought, and keep to your revolutionary line. We will take class struggle as the key link, advance along the road of learning from Dajai indicated by you, and build Peking's rural areas into socialist garden of prosperity and happiness. We'll carry the cause of the proletarian revolution through to the end. Chairman Mao, with the deepest grief, we solemnly pledge. Forever loyal to you, we'll rally closely around the Party Central Committee, firmly implement your line in army building, strengthen the army, heighten our vigilance, and enhance preparedness against war. Be ready at all times to wipe out any enemy who dares to intrude, and defend the Party Central Committee and the great socialist motherland to the death. We are determined to liberate Taiwan. We will consolidate and develop the achievements of the great proletarian cultural revolution and always advance along your revolutionary line. Our esteemed and most beloved great leader and teacher, Chairman Mao, we Red Guards make this solemn pledge to you. We are your most loyal Red Guards, and you are forever our commander. Oh, Chairman Mao, how we need you. We'll turn our grief into strength, carry out your behests, display the revolutionary spirit. It is right to rebel against reactionaries, diligently study Marxism, Leninism, Mao Zedong thought, take class struggle as the key link, and carry the struggle against the capitalist rodas in the party through to the end. We are determined to be worthy successors to the revolutionary cause, combat and prevent revisionism, and follow the bright road of integrating ourselves with the workers and peasants all our lives. Heads may roll, blood may flow, but we will never give up Mao Zedong thought. Oceans may dry up and rocks may crumble, but our loyalty to your revolutionary line will never change. Mao Zedong Zedong是中国共产党的 Chairman Mao Zedong was the founder and wise leader of the Communist Party of China, the Chinese People's Liberation Army, and the People's Republic of China. Chairman Mao tempered and nurtured our party in the struggles it carried out under his leadership against class enemies at home and abroad and inside and outside the party. In hard, long, acute and complex class struggle and two-line struggles. The history of the Chinese Communist Party is a history of struggles between Chairman Mao's Marxist-Leninist line and the right and left opportunist lines in the party. Under Chairman Mao's leadership, our party defeated the opportunist lines pursued by Chen Du Xiu, Ji Chu Bai, Li Li San, Luo Zhang Long, Wang Ming, Zhang Guo Tao, Gao Gang Rao Shu Shi, and Peng De Huai. And again, during the great proletarian cultural revolution, triumphed over the counter-revolutionary revisionist line of Liu Xiaoqi and Lin Biao. Guided by Chairman Mao's Marxist-Leninist line, our party has steadily grown in strength. It has developed from small groups of a few dozen communists into a party with a membership of over 30 million, which now leads the People's Republic of China, into a disciplined party armed with a theory of Marxism-Leninism, using the method of self-criticism, 
closely linked with the masses of the people and into a great, glorious and correct Marxist-Leninist party.